Hi folks, today we're going to be looking at the latest reverb unit from Soaring Tortoise Electronics. As with all of our units, this is made from 100% recycled materials. We have here the Springus Reverberatum. It is a spring reverb in a sweet little case here. And uh, springs underneath this cage, which we can remove with this thumb screw, which is very tight right now. There it goes. So we're going to take this cage off right away. And as you can see, it has controls for volume and uh, mix of the reverb and dry signal. There's that spring right there. I'm going to set that on the floor. And a mix, which mixes the dry signal and the wet signal. We have a dwell control right here. It looks like a button, but it's actually a control. We have a reverb cancel switch here. And we have input, output for reverb, and a dry out. And here we have uh, the power supply. So. Today we're running the reverb into a special deluxe amp. There she is. And uh, the guitar we're going to be using is this old Gibson uh, ES330T. And the T, of course, stands for terrific. So there's our reverb again. We're going to zoom back in on it here. All right. Get that cool spring showing. So let's give it a little test. I'm going to pick up my old guitar and we'll get going. So I have the uh, reverb off right now. I am running actually into both channels of the special amp, which is really just a 5E3 Deluxe in a head form and so it has two inputs. The bright input is uh, the dry and the dark input is the reverb. So right now the reverb is in cancel. This is the tone of uh, unreverb. turn the reverb on here. I've got it set for a, a pretty nice sounding reverb right now. Oh, we can hear the spring shaking already. controls we have here. We have the dwell set pretty low right now. I'm going to turn that up for us. So that's the dwell all the way. So right now I've got both channels going, the dry and the wet. I'm going to turn the dry down for a second. So now we just have the wet. Well set high, it gets pretty unnatural, I guess we could say. But turn the dwell down low and maybe add a lot of the mix. And now I'm going to turn, I'm going to mix in the dry channel on the amp again.
So with the volume control, we can control the amount of reverb coming out of the wet output. I can turn that down. opinion this uh, reverb with long dwell sounds best with a light mix that's even a bit too much there so we can just turn it down a little bit some of the reverbs it can do, but there's also all the cool things that you can accomplish with uh, something like a something like a paintbrush perhaps that we can do this with. Oh yes, we can play with the string. But that's for another video.